Guys, I'm back with Yehuda Naiman from Chemed. Yehuda, we never spoke about uh, ticks. I think it's uh, pretty important right now. It's the summer season. Let's see what you have to say about it. What people should know about ticks to begin with is uh, there are three t different types of ticks. They are the deer ticks, which are the black-legged ones, and that's the one that carries Lyme. Uh, there are other ones in our area, which are the uh, dog ticks as well as the Lone Star ticks. Um, so there are a lot of different ticks, obviously, that could uh, we could find on ourselves. Now, the first thing regarding ticks is prevention. Now, what we want to do with prevention is anytime people are outdoors in high grass areas, wooded areas, forests, is uh, to make sure they're wearing uh, long sleeves, uh, you know, covering their legs fully um, to prevent the uh, ticks from grasping onto us, as well as spraying some type of DEET spray uh, to, again, repel these uh, ticks. Um, now, let's say someone finds something on them, they find a tick. So what do you do about it? So, um, so what people should know at first is that regardless of what type of tick it is, um, is that if it's there for less than 36 hours, um, you don't have to worry about Lyme disease. Okay, that's only if it's there for 36 hours and more. So again, if you see it on yourself and you know it wasn't there before, if you see it on your child, you've bathed them the night before and you know it's not there before, uh, you, it's not something you have to worry about. Now, what you should do is obviously uh, you try to remove it and remove it safely. Um, we do have, there is a kit out there that people could get. Uh, which you can find, which uh, if you follow the instructions carefully, um, yeah, that could help uh, to remove uh, the tick safely. If you're nervous about it, uh, or again, if you're unsure exactly how long this tick was on, obviously come into us. And what we could do is, um, you know, with our experience, uh, a lot of times we could identify on the spot, you know, what type of tick it is to see if it's Lyme disease is concerning or not. Um, if it's, you know, there over 36 hours uh, and then has been, even if it, you removed it yourself, but if it was, you know, within 72 hours of removal um, and we obviously see that it is um, a concerning type of tick, uh, we can treat it. We could give you antibiotics for it. Uh, it's a one-time dose uh, and that, uh, for the most part, usually uh, helps prevent the uh, progression of Lyme disease. And if it's there for over 36 hours or unsure uh, how long it's been there for, then what can be done is sometimes blood work. We could do blood work for Lyme. Uh, however, that cannot be done immediately. Uh, we will obviously order it for you, but the blood work can only be done around three to six weeks after uh, the tick bite. However, if you develop symptoms, let's say you get uh, what's known classically as the bullseye rash, which is a red ring with you know central clearing and then a red uh, mark in the center. Um, that is you know an indication of Lyme disease. Obviously, come in if that does happen. Again, we could treat it uh, with antibiotics. So, uh, and uh, you know if you develop any other symptoms, um, whether it's weakness, fatigue, uh, muscle pains, um, so any of those type of things, joint pain. If that does happen especially with a history uh, of a concerning type of tick. Again, blood work uh, can be done, uh, and sometimes even if negative, because tested early, sometimes we will repeat it a couple weeks later, and then again, there is treatment for it. Uh, so in short, if you find a tick on you, um, again, if it's less than 36 hours, you can remove it yourself at home. If you're unsure how long it's there for, come in, let us remove it, let us identify what it is, and guide you uh, to the appropriate treatments.